Hi everyone, my name is Julie, this is Keep Calm with Books and Coffee, and today I'm going to be doing a quick, like, currently reading slash weekend reads. I have two books that I would like to finish this weekend, um, because I have been in the middle of them for a little bit, and I'd like to finish them up before the end of the month. I also feel like I haven't checked in with you folks in a while since I didn't do a mid-month wrap-up this month. I am still in a weird reading mood space, place. Uh, so we'll see how that ends at the end of the month, but there's these two I'd like to finish. So the first is This Poison Heart by Kaylin Bayron, and this is a Greek retelling of some sort. It's about Rhesus, who is a young woman who has power over plants, and plants kind of have power over her. She has these gifts that she can grow plants and bring them back from the dead, and she is exploring this as quietly as she can because neither one of her moms has this talent and she's adopted and she's trying to figure out like where this came from and plants react to her when she walks down the street and she doesn't quite have control over this so when she inherits a home in upstate New York she and her moms go there and she kind of finds a way to explore this a little more and it's so good so far I'm really loving it um but I don't know much about this Greek retelling so I'm kind of filling in blind uh, but I'd like to finish this up this month um, because I have been reading it for a little while and I'm only halfway through. This is just something that I am I'm enjoying, but I kind of forget about it when I'm not reading it. So I, I want to try and prioritize this and finish it up this weekend because I'm liking it. It's fun. It's contemporary. It's got a lot of fun contemporary um, uh, references in it. Like they talk about Hamilton and they talk about stuff like that that's kind of I can't think of any more examples at this moment but like things that are kind of current but like also I, I don't know when this was written but anyway you know what I mean I, I like the kind of fun poppy YA feel to it and it's reading very fast I'm just not reading it very fast and the other one is The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller which is really hard to show you the cover of because this is so beautiful I got this recently and I read the first half in just a couple of days I read it so so quickly um, and I was loving this. This is another Greek retelling, a little bit more traditional retelling of its um, Achilles and Patroclus in Greece, their story and all of that. Um, and if you know the story of Achilles and Patroclus, I know this is going to be sad. Um, but I didn't quite expect to love these soft boys so much. Like, I loved them so much in this first half. And now the talk of uh, war and Troy is coming front and center and I feel like this is starting to turn a little bit sad and it's gonna hurt me but um, I've been avoiding it for about a week so I know it's gonna be sad so I'm avoiding finishing it which is not gonna make it better I feel like I should read this and be hurt by it in the most excruciating way possible um, because if I finish it like in a couple of months or in a couple more weeks, I'm not gonna have as much of an imp it's not gonna have as much of an impact on me. And even though it's gonna be sad, I want to have that impact. So <laughs> I wanna finish this this weekend, that's a big goal. So those are the two that I am working on currently. If I finish those two, I think my slate will be mostly clean going into March, which is kind of exciting and fun. So I wanna finish those up and then I will also be able to talk to you about them next week. But like I said, those are what I'm focusing on this weekend. If you have any books that you're working on or if you have any thoughts or feelings that you want to share about those two, please let me know. But remember, I am still in the middle of them, so um, I won't have fully formed thoughts or full uh, information about them yet. Um, but that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see me again, go ahead and hit that subscription button down below, and I will see you next time. Bye.